Today we're doing What's in the Bag, although this one's been named Show and Tell because uh, on Friday I brought a lunch to work with some shitty Tupperware and the lid came off and my bag was dirty, so this isn't What's in the Bag. I'm going to have to uh, wash it. I got some of that uh, chopped little tom tomatoes with olive oil, bruschetta kind of stuff inside the bag. And that's the one thing I did forget today on my journey was to buy a brand new knapsack because the other one's a little bit big anyway. But nonetheless, we're here with show and tell. Um, it took me about three hours to acquire all this stuff. There's not a whole lot, but I seem to stop at uh, about seven or eight different shops throughout the way, pick up a little something here, pick up a little something there, and uh, I have all the stuff just at my feet now. I do need a shower, so uh, not the prettiest I've ever been. I bought these at Canadian Tire. Frank's Fit Cut and Rippled Classic Potato Chips. It's date night tonight, and we like to enjoy chips together. Mmm. <laughs> And I've never tried Frank's before, or Frank potato chips. And I was at Canadian Tire, so I thought I would give them a shot. That was the main purpose of me deciding to go venture all over the place, is because I tried to do the switcheroo with the light bulbs from the bedroom to the bathroom, and they didn't want to go on. So I did finally bring a sample back with me. Two Canadian Tire to make sure that I got the right ones. They're a little chilly right now. I'm going to let them warm up a bit before I put them in. I don't want them exploding in my face. What else do we have here on show and tell Saturday? Okay. What to do? Well, I did stop at a place called Pizza Bite. That was one of my last stops. I got three pieces of chicken and a few wedges as well for a fiver. That'll be a nice little snack before uh, also tonight me and my girl will be having uh, some vegan pizza as well. So I'm looking forward to that. That's just a little snack to carry me over. <clears throat> what else is in the bags? Well, a couple packs of smokes. That's not surprising for those smokers out there it's a constant purchase this seems a little sticky which I'm not a big fan of right now but uh, doesn't seem to be leaking anywhere so that's a good sign this is some sparkling lemonade nice ice and cold cold as a witch's Tit. Oh, what else did I get? I got some uh, garden incense, some jasmine. I was running low on incense. I do like those. Got those at a little uh, place called Happy Tiger. Not to be confused with Giant Tiger. It's actually called Happy Giant Tiger. It has no affiliation with Giant Tiger. It's just a small family run kind of dollar store, a little convenience store. It's always interesting to go into those places and see what actually they have. Box of uh, condoms. <clears throat> My mother always said life was like a box of condoms. You never know what you're going to get. Uh, they are latex free, those ones. But I still don't understand why condoms are so expensive. It's not like they're made out of a material that is very rare on this planet. I suppose they know that people need them so they can charge whatever they want for them. And what else do we have here? Next thing I grabbed was some Alberta Pure Vodka. I don't really drink vodka a whole bunch, maybe once a month. But with the combination of my lemonade, I thought that that would be good. Sip it out of a straw. Got some burned salami here for uh, exclusively only for work lunches. Got to cut down on those pepperoni sticks all the time. That way I'll have some bread with it. 
Also at that Happy Giant Tiger, I got a two pack of the kitchen towel set. This was two forty nine, so a dollar twenty five per towel. Nice, mm, smooth. The woman at the store kept uh, when she was ringing it in. She was feeling it, waiting for my debit card to go through. She liked the the feel of the fabric. Also heading back to the condom story. When I was in line buying these, I had some guy right behind me, because I was only buying these at Shoppers Drug Mart. And the guy by, behind me is just like, looking at me, looking at the box, looking at me, looking at the box. So I just kind of gave him the people's eyebrow and looked away. And then uh, after I paid for it, the cashier's like, oh, you have fun tonight. All right. <clears throat> also at the Happy Giant Tiger, picked up a five dollar brand new uh, pit stick my other one was running pretty low I switched brands this time I'm going with the Gillette clear gel there we go nice and fresh and what else do we got I bought this old man style hat actually it doesn't look too bad there's the profile it's it is used but uh, I figured it was kind of in a kooky mood today, so I thought I would buy the kooky hat and the kooky shirt, which I did not try on. And I don't know if, uh, actually, hell, I might as well try it on right now. Suck in my stomach a little bit. Make sure I don't have any uh, fuzz coming out up top. Whoa. That way you can see my biceps. But this is a very kooky shirt. Uh, nothing in my wardrobe quite like it. That's for sure. Come on, button. I feel like maybe uh, John Voigt wearing this shirt. So what's everyone else up to today? I did uh, notice it was uh, the Tapley's anniversary. So that's happy anniversary and uh, what else is happening gave my Shaw box and PVR back to them today it's pretty <laughs> it's a little bit tighter than I thought I'll give you the first look the blue steel Derek Zoolander but I do need a shower and a shave I am gonna peek at myself that's a lot, a little bit tighter than I thought, but uh, that's okay. It was used as well. All right, I hope you enjoyed my episode today, and uh, I hope those lights work.